Hi everybody, this is just a wee quick video to show you what I have on vinyl. Um, I've got quite a bit as you can see, but obviously not as much as some. Um, I do have more 7 inch singles than you would expect actually. Um, it's taken up an awful lot of room, but as I said before in some of my other videos, I absolutely love the 7 inch single. Although I don't really play them much now, but um, there you go. So we'll start with um, from A to Z with the albums okay so this is a video I've made in about six different videos so I'm gonna to have to piece them together so anyway I hope you enjoy All right. uh, okay so this is uh, my record collection this is the vinyl and the first cube here it's all in alph alphabetical order I nearly said alph spaghettical order Maybe I want spaghetti. But anyway, it starts with A on the, the first cube on the left. And we move across the B's and the C's and so forth. And we keep on going. And then down to the brown cubes. And that takes us the whole way down to a Z. Okay. Next up are uh, specific albums. So we're starting with the Beatles in the top cube and that takes in Paul McCartney, the John Lennon solo, uh, the George Harrison solo, part of the Ringo solo. It goes down into the Rolling Stones albums. Uh, alongside that the Kinks albums and start of the Who. Carries on with the Who and into Bob Dylan. Um, and then Paul Simon, Simon and Garfunkel, Art Garfunkel's in there as well, and Cat Stevens. And keeping on going down is um, the Beach Boys, along with um, what have we got in here? We've got yeah the Bee Gees and the Birds and the Roger McGuinn solo. And then on down at the bottom we have Elton John. Uh, Billy Joel and Van Morrison. Over here we have um, doo -doo -doo -doo, those are the 12 inch singles in the first cube and 12 inch singles in the second cube and in the bottom two cubes here are more or less the glam rock stuff like the T-Rex, the Slade, the Sweet, uh, Sparks, Steve Harley and Cockney Rebel, Mungo Jerry and so forth. It's getting a little bit dark. Up here we have a singles box set which features uh, T-Rex, Slade, Elton John. This box set here is all Beatles and Solo. The red one would be uh, Nick Chin and McChapman singles. Well, mostly it's the Sweet, um, Susie Quattro and Mud. And this black one has got absolutely nothing in it. Okay, some Specific singles, those are the jam singles, Tracy Ullman, Madonna, the ABBA and the Solo, Status Quo, Elvis Costello, The Clash, Squeeze, you might be interested in that James, uh, Kate Bush, Adamant, The Rolling Stones, Smiths and Marcy, there's quite a few there, and The Queen and the Solo singles, so there's quite a few there. Okay, next box we have... Singles from the House Martins, Dave Edmonds, Nick Lowe, Bye Bye Bye, Police and Sting, and Blondie, Debbie Harry. And up here we have OMD, <coughs> Box Fizz, that is my guilty pleasure. Tanita Tickerum, The Bangles, Altered Images, The Primitives, and Transvision Vamp. This box here we have uh, Roy Wood and Wizard, let's see, The Kinks. E ELO, The Kinks, Stiff Little Fingers, Boomtown Rats, The Proclaimers and The Pretenders. Along with uh, Lamange, Big Country and Skids, Madness, Simple Minds, The Stranglers and XTC. This is a built-in drawer of um, various other singles. Which includes people like Fleetwood Mac, Dire Straits, Billy Joel, Bob Marley, Steve Harley and so forth. That's all in alphabet. Alf, I nearly said it again. 
alphabetical order from A to M. Okay, so there's an example of an, there's Paul Abdul, straight up. Um, I go on the bottom of seven C's. So that's an example of those. And in the bottom drawer, we have more or less from M to Z. So there we have some Simon, oh, what's that? Brian Ferry, Roxy Music. That's obviously under R. My Goldfields. So there we have, um, again, the Lights Bad Sheba. And various other singles. There's Pink Floyd, another brick in the wall. Um, in that dark hole, there are the top of the Pops albums. In the silver uh, box is the um, David Bowie 12 inch singles. We have the Bowie albums all along here. That box set has nothing in it apart from the book. Johnny, the record shop owner, was uh, very kind to give it to me because he split the box and had bought a couple of albums from him. Carry on with the David Bowie and then we hit Lou Reed and Iggy Pop. And above that, that very large singles box is the Bowie singles. The uh, seven inch picture disc pack, the two recent singles box sets I bought, and that final black box there is the uh, 40th anniversary David Bowie picture discs. So that whole section here is really David Bowie and two major collaborations, Lou Reed and Iggy Pop. Lastly, um, I have a few picture discs hanging on the wall. That is Slade Oki Koki, uh, Tracy Ullman looking rather fetching with um, Move Over Darling. This one here is actually, well, I better not get too close to the Manfred Mann single. Morrissey, Adam the Ants, Abba, the Kate Bush single, uh, King of the Mountain, and Roy Woods, uh, we're on the road again. Okay, that's a quick tour of the actual vinyl I own. Um, there, in, behind, in that cupboard there, there's some really, really crap singles that I used to get. I used to buy these lucky bags, you know, you get 10 singles for a pound. And you might get one thing that's half decent uh, and the rest is absolute tripe. So there's some in there, there's some double copies in there as well. Um, the CDs, the majority, I have a few CDs in here. In as well but the majority of the CDs are in the other room so that's um, my addiction for you and I don't even know if I will upload this but I thought I would do it anyway and make a video of it and we'll see so uh, again hope you enjoyed it